he's, he's solid, he's reliable, uh, he's 100% committed to the football club. And it's great because those are the type of players you want to see here. <laughs> Congratulations on the new deal. How pleased are you to have another couple of years here? Yeah, very pleased. I've you know enjoyed it since I came in alone, not last season, the season before, and I'm just really happy to get it done. Yeah. What, what's uh, been key? Do you feel to, to persuading the manager that you you're the right person to, to be here and be part of this defence? I just, I just think you know I, I'm very happy being here, and I you know I enjoy working with the gaffer and all the coaching staff and everything everything about the club really. I, I've enjoyed being here since, so I've worked hard and. And giving me all, and you know, thankfully that's Sean and the club have you know rewarded me with a new contract. I think earlier in the season we talked about this being quite a big season for you in yeah. terms of establishing issues, establishing if I could put my teeth in uh, yourself here uh, at the keep. Uh, mm. How well do you feel that you you've done that now to to be you know a mainstay in this Doncaster Rovers defence? Yeah, yeah, I feel like I've done all right. I've had a, I've played. I think every game I think I've been available for. Obviously, I had to send it off, which was a bit disappointing, or very disappointing. Um, but no, I've you know I've been working hard every day, trying to keep myself fit, ready for the games. Like you know, especially in Christmas, they come come around thick and fast. And uh, you know, you just got to make sure that you're ready and you recover right, and try and play every game you can to the best of your abilities. How much do you feel you've developed over the last six months as a player now with Darren Moore in? Yeah, yeah. Obviously, he was a centre half himself, played at a very high level, and you know, it's it's. It's great having somebody like that that you can talk to, you learn from, and you know can just. Only thing that can do to me is that we get better. He's been talking about the improvements that you've made and, and you've already come on this season. But how much more do you feel that you've still got to to to, to be able to do and, and can? Well, how much further do you feel you can go in the game to to keep improving as a defender? Yeah, a lot. I mean, you can always improve. There's always a lot to work on, you know. And I've got a lot to work on myself. Um, but that'll just come day by day, and you know you got to keep your feet on the ground, make sure you work hard and. You know, and hopefully, uh, you know, get better. And we we all, if we all work together, you know, it's a team game. We we can all get better and all, you know, get out of League One and into the Championship, which is what we all want to do. What do you think are the next steps for you then to, to to for that improvement to happen? I think I've just got to keep doing what I'm doing. Like I said, you, you know, I think it's important that you stay level headed, feet on the ground, and just keep working hard every day. And it's you know, it's no good doing it here. There, it has got to be every day, every time you're in. When you put the training kit on, you have to work 100% every day to get better. And just as a player, how, how comforting is it to put all that sort of stuff and contract talks out of your mind and, and you know your future's settled and mm. you don't have to think about it for a couple of years? Yeah, it, it's a big relief, you know, because you obviously, when you come into the final year of your contract, it, you know, you're thinking like, oh, am I going to be here? Am I going to be somewhere else? You know, you, 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 it's weird, but you think of all sorts of possibilities, it, you know, and it can be difficult at times. So that, yeah, that's another reason why I'm very happy just to get everything sorted. Congratulations, getting it done. Thank you very much. Thank it was always going to be a big move for you when you when you left Burnley, but you mm. must be delighted with how everything's sort of turned out. Yeah, yeah, very happy. Obviously, when I came in alone with Darren Ferguson, I loved that. And then last year, obviously, I didn't play as many games as I wanted to, but still enjoyed the season. And and when I did get a bit of a run. You know, I, I love playing and, you know, part of being in the team that got to the playoffs, that was a new experience for me as well. Um, but no, I, ever since I've been at the club, I've really enjoyed it and I'm, you know, very happy to get it sorted. You seemed to be a bit unfortunate last season because whenever you came in, you performed, mm. but you would often kind of end up coming back out. Yeah, that, you know, that's just football sometimes. It, you know, it, 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 um, you know, people come in and, and people, like things change and you just got to, like I said, every time you come in, you give it your all and sometimes if if you've done that then you know you've got no excuse um but no it's just vitally important that you you always stay level headed it's you know it's a big uh thing that i believe in uh feet on the ground and work hard every day to get better and you can improve have you been looking to improve your sort of work on the ball and stuff like that and playing out because that's been a massively important part of this team yeah it, it's something that i think i've always tried to work on a lot because of when, when i was younger you know, it weren't really like academy football is now. It was 
I was so broke just to defend, which is still a massive part of the game, but now up, you've also got to be good on the ball, playing out from the back, and like I said, it's a big it's a big part of how we play and it's probably, yeah, I have I have worked on it a lot but I've still got to get better.